Hey, what's up guys? So check it out today. I'm going to be showing you guys my new um, keyboard that I got in the mail today. So I've been waiting on this for about a week and I, I was kind of anxious to get it because uh, supposedly when I talked to the seller, they said that this was not compatible with the Fire Sticks um, or the Fi Fire TV box for that matter. They recommended only using it on the Android boxes, but it does work for the Fire Sticks and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. So in order for this to work, since the Fire Sticks and the new generation Fire TV box does not have a, a USB input, you're going to need a little um, adapter. Now, I bought this cable. Let me just show you guys. I bought this cable online for about $1.50. You do see some for like $5, you know, even $10, and that's just ridiculous. You're not going to need that. Um, it's all going to do the same the same exact job. All it's going to do is give you power to two different devices, okay? So no need to go off and spend, you know, $10 on this cable right here when you get it for $1.50. So the way this is going to work, First, I'm going to show you guys the keyboard. This lights up to three different colors by pushing this FN and F2 button. At the same time, it goes to uh, green, blue, and uh, I believe red. Um, I, one thing I do like about this keyboard, it has a nice little texture on the back right here. It kind of feels like a little silicone, so it won't slip out of your hand. So we're going to go ahead and just open this up. And as you can see, there's a USB um, receiver right here, or transmitter, I guess you can call it. So it looks like this, just like you would um, get on a little uh, wireless mouse. And then you're gonna have the battery, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and connect this so we can get started here. Close this little keyboard back up. And again, uh, this is what's gonna make it work, you guys. So make sure you're gonna have to have this cable for this to work. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna connect this little transmitter just like that. And then this part of this cable that I got right here is going to plug into your fire stick. And it's super easy. There's no Bluetooth or nothing. You know, so it's pretty, pretty simple. Just like that. Now, this is the original cable that comes with the newer generation fire TV box and the fire sticks. Just, you know, even if just an Android cable would work, but just use what came in the box and you'd be good. So on this, we're just going to connect this and this together. Make sure we got it on there, right? Like so. And this actually has a on and off switch. So there's on and off switch right here. I'm gonna turn this on, but I'm not gonna turn it on until I actually connect it. And then we've got the USB power right there, and then a better look of the on and off switch. So I'm just gonna go and turn on so you guys can see how this works. So you turn it on, you have your little mouse pad right here. If you want to change the colors. You're going to hit FN and F2 at the same time. That's my favorite color. We're going to leave it at blue. So now that we've got this, I'm not going to use this power adapter. A lot of people use this at home or whatever. If your TV has a USB port, you can actually power your Fire Stick uh, with the uh, USB port that you have on your TV. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn my TV around. Like so. I'm going to move my tripod so you guys can kind of see this. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my USB. Like that. Move that up. And I'm going to go ahead and connect my fire stick into my available input right here. Like so. So you're going to have this little, you can move this to the back if you want on your TV, however you want to do it. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on just real quick. And face this TV towards me. Just give it a minute. Adjust my tripod here. This keyboard actually makes it uh, very simple for you to um, type stuff out. Like if you look searching for a movie or whatever, instead of clicking with your remote. Um, what's also pretty cool is you can actually still use this and use this at the same time. It doesn't disconnect anything because it's not Bluetooth or anything. Uh, it's not paired. The only way is pairing. Uh, technically, it's through this little dongle that we have right here. So I'm going to let this fire up so we can go ahead and try it out. The only thing that I noticed that does not work that great is um, when you're on this screen right here, your little um, mouse that's supposed to be right here doesn't work. Okay. But let me scoot back just a little bit so you guys can kind of see here.
did not work. So I'll go ahead and go from right here so you guys can kind of see. So that works. So we'll go ahead. So all that works. We go ahead and click on the home button, which is right here, and take you back home. So we're gonna go ahead and enter one of my uh, apps right here. We'll go into the Terrania map, just so you guys can kind of see this. I'm gonna change my color. Maybe it's easier for you guys to see. <clears throat> I'll leave it at green. Cool. So from here, this actually works. As you, as you can see on my screen right here, We're just gonna go ahead and click on the little star, save it, unsave it. Your back arrow will take you back. Oh, let me see, I should anyways. Maybe I gotta go up here. And on the Cody, the back arrow will work. So we're gonna go to movies. I'm gonna type something in here just so you guys can kind of see. Makes it a whole lot easier. So we'll just type in Toy Story. Just like that. I'm assuming you could hit OK. I'm not sure. I haven't really played with it too much. But it's definitely compatible with it, as you can see. So we're just going to hit the home button one more time. We'll go ahead and jump into this uh, Kodi app real quick. Let this thing load up. But yeah, for over you know overall, this is a pretty good little keyboard so far. You know, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, I think I've only had about a good full day of playing with it. And I haven't really had any big issues. You know, where I want to return it or you know stick to the remote. It's nice to have this little remote too. You know, obviously because of the voice command that you can, you can do it in the terrain map and stuff like that. But as far as having a keyboard with the actual full keyboard, I mean that's really nice too, especially when you're trying to type stuff out that might be kind of long. But yeah, I mean everything looking like it's working pretty pretty good. Click on my add-ons. So try to load everything up. So to bring up your context menu, it would be this little click, you know, little mouse icon right here, and then you can click on information. You know, if you want to uninstall something, same thing as you would click on this little context menu button on your uh, Fire Stick remote. Same concept. So let's just go back here. Yeah, like on the Cody, if you click back, it takes you back, back. Just like that. And then we're gonna just get out of here one more time. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, for those of you who are looking for a keyboard, man, I, I highly recommend you get one if you want one. It makes it easier, you know, like I said, to maneuver around things. Especially when you're having to type in like titles of movies and TV shows and stuff like that. Um, nighttime, you can obviously, you know, turn on your little different backlights. Uh, different colors if you want to just turn it off completely like I said you can just click on it and it'll just save your battery probably too uh, during the daytime but that's just this one right here I'll look and see if I can find the actual model number to this one it wasn't very expensive I think it was like 15 bucks 10 bucks somewhere around there but uh, there you have it man hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions feel free to hit me up thank you